back again, and yeah, this is Luigi Rocks 2014 doing more Super Mario 3D Land. Alright, so once again, it's still October 4th, 2014, and I decided, uh, I guess I'll do another Super Mario 3D Land video, considering the fact that, well, I haven't really... Since I actually had to switch memory cards in the last video. And I have like another good 40 minutes left on this one. Come on, you stupid Goombas. Over here. Oh, crap. Um... Here you can actually get a bunch of one-ups if you want to. So, yeah. So if you saw the last video, or not last video, if you hadn't noticed at the beginning, my lives basically went up a little bit to 700, 708. The reason was because um, uh, I screwed up on this level. I don't know what happened. I messed up on the third star coin. So let's head back up here, try this again. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, get up there. And there you go. That's your second star coin. The third one's going to be in that cannon, so we're definitely going to need that. So over here is another timer, and then over here, make your way up there if you can. Oh crap, there's a one-up up there, but I can't seem to get to it. No, well, now I can get to it. Alright, awesome. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to do this last world and then I'm going to probably be done. I've actually gotten quite a lot of videos of this recorded today. Alright, next we have the mystery box house. So yeah, I, I, I know I haven't really... As I said, I'm still trying to save up money on trying to get Super Smash Bros. 4, but um, I actually watched uh, Yatsumi 432's first video of it, and it actually was pretty good. Actually, I'm quite surprised they brought they actually brought back a Pac-Man stage in that game. It's actually pretty cool, even though when Yatsumi recorded it, it looked pretty difficult from his end, but. Other than that, though, this, that stage actually looked pretty interesting. Like, that was one of the things that totally had caught my attention. Another thing that also caught my attention is that they brought back Dr. Mario. I thought that was actually pretty cool as well, that they brought him back. So up there's your first star coin. Okay, you actually really don't need those platforms to get up here. Oh my gosh, stupid train. And yeah, in PK Sparks to Hotness's defense, it would be all like, shut up, train. Alright. Alright, really don't need these platforms, really, but, eh. Why not? If you have the Tanuki, you really don't even need these platforms. Okay, over here, actually, we have a... Crap, come on, wait. Let me grab that one up real quick. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I think I'm missing something. Yeah, here we go. The third star coin. I think if I remember last time, when I did this on my other channel, I think I ended up missing that star coin. So, that actually did suck when that happened. 
up here actually there's a little secret area if anyone is wondering what this is this is just a little warp zone to world 5 which you which I really don't need okay let's get into that pipe All right, so that's basically World 4-2. And now we're going to be doing um, the next level, actually. So in the next level, we're going to need to spend some star coins. Forget exactly how much we need. Okay, so we need 30. I could do that. Alright, and there we go. 30 star coins spent, and that gives us 57 star. That unlocks the third level, which is a bunch of rotating blocks and stuff. So, yep. Let's -a go. Alright, so up here we have the next star coin well, I'm getting a lot of coins too. kill these guys jump up here and then come over here oh oh wait wait give me your coins bitch yeah that's right I just robbed you son that's my money that you just stole there's that toad and give me that third star coin Oh crap, I'm running low on batteries. Alright, well this will be the last world I do and then, yeah. Alright, so that puts me at 97 coins. Next we have the ghost house. Which is actually world 4-4. Four four. Alright, so when we enter this level, this level right here is basically a remix of the Ghostly Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 1. Okay, that was just All right, awful. So here's what happened last time I did this. Basically, I forgot to hit that switch, and that's why I ended up dying. Of course, that's pretty obvious. Alright, I actually really don't need this platform either, but, eh, might as well hit it anyways. Wow, I can't even freaking run for some odd reason. Alright. Okay, actually, I do know there's a star coin over here. Come on, get up there. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, there we go. Jeez. That is like so annoying. Can't even get up there. But yeah, this area is based. This level is basically a remix of the Ghostly Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 1. Again, I still thought it was pretty dumb that Nintendo brought back old music from the past Mario games and couldn't really come up with new ones. But, hey, if that's how things are going to have to be, then fine, whatever. Alright, so over here, heading to this door, and then... And there we go, 3 minutes, 80, second, 80 seconds, ugh. So next up we have World 4 5.
holy crap platforms are running out all right so over here i don't think there's a star coin in here yeah there's no star coin in here but all right whatever All right, so over here, head into this warp block and then head over to this area. Grab the checkpoint and then... Oh, crap, crap, crap. Okay. Hit that, hit that. Okay, okay. Oh, I hate this part right here. Yeah, you gotta jump over that platform to get the second star coin. I really don't like that part. I find that part really annoying. Okay, that is just lame. I couldn't even hit the platforms like really fast. Like at the same time. Alright, holy crap. We're almost done with this world. Just got hit that and then that. Oh, come on. Okay. And that, my friends, is World 4 5. And next up, we got the airship. Yeah. Yeah, just seeing how awesome. Uh, Super Smash 4 is like really I, I really need to get that game You know I noticed that dr. Mario like really he was like one of the toughest characters in the Smash Bros series Like I noticed he wasn't that bad in Super Smash Bros melee The crazy thing is I never really played as him much when I was a child And then again, it was mainly because I prefer playing as Luigi more so it would make sense why I would never play as Dr. Mario much. But seeing how tough he actually is, I might start playing as him more often. I don't know. I'm thinking, I, I kind of been thinking about that. So if I ever do get Super Smash Bros. Melee, or I mean Super Smash 4, Dr. Mario might be one of the characters I'll be playing as. Alright, so over here. Alright, definitely there's also one up over here. Alright, I need to start talking because if I don't, then I'm going to get a match third party content on this video. Crap. Get in there. Come on, Mario. Jeez. It's really not that hard. Oh, screw you, Pom Pom. Yes, Pom Pom's the next boss we're going to be battling instead of, uh... Oh, are you serious? Alright, so if you stand on her shell multiple times, you can get tons and tons of one-ups. Yeah, this, I actually find this really cool that you can stand on your shell enough times to get some one-ups. And there we go. That actually puts me at 766 lives. Which actually is quite a lot. Okay, come on. In the pipe, Mario. We're wasting too much time. What's over here? Oh, yeah, I remember this part. One-up. Okay, awesome. Got the golden flagpole. And that, my friends, is basically is it for World 4. Alright. So I'm like the next area, and we're off to World 5. That's right. Oh, yeah. Got the 8-bit uh, star, 8-bit mushroom, and 
Fire Flower. Actually, those are from Super Mario Bros. 3. Or 1. I don't know. They kind of look alike. So basically, you can just, again, move your 3DS around, do all that crap. No, let's just not waste around. Alright, well, other than that, though, guys, I'm going to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in World 5. Later, guys. Thank you.